All right, so here's the solution. And uh, starting with this code, I want to create an interface type that both person and secret agent implement. So person and secret agent, they each have this kind of functionality. I'm going to change that just to reflect some of uh, the code that I've seen in class. And so I'm changing the signature of each of these speak functions to return a string. And sprint line will, will, will print to a string. And then as Ken always points out to me, dude, you got to return that. And uh, so I'm going to return that. And always means once tonight. And so now those uh, both have that. So I could create a new type humanoid, right? And it's an interface. And if some an interface is defined functionality. And so if something has a speak method that returns a string, if they have that signature, then they also just implicitly implement the humanoid interface. So I could create a func now that is, you know, vomit. And, uh, and I'm going to attach that to, no, and uh, vomit is going to take a humanoid, humanoid, and that's what the, the parameter will be. And so vomit will be Rush Limbaugh quotes. I don't know what this is, but I'll just go get it. I haven't even read it. And so uh, format.println or whatever I want this functionality to be. There we go. So that's just a string. And now down in func main, I have a person, I have a secret agent, and, uh, and then I can... Um, Call vomit, and I could pass in a person. I call vomit, and I could pass in a secret agent. And one function took two different types because both those types also happen to be of a shared type, humanoid. A secret agent and a person is—they're both humanoids. And uh, when I run this, unless I made some greasy share, feminism was established to allow unattractive women easier access to the mainstream. You know why there's a second amendment? In case the government fails to follow the first one, no nation ever tax itself into prosperity. <laughs> Whatever. So I'm just going to take all that out. I just needed something that was represented vomit. I think I just deleted something else. Oh, I got back away back there. That's not what I want. And so I could also do this. Hello. And uh, H, and I don't know what we have available on H. They both have F name. I think the N is capitalized. Uh, F name undefined type humanoid has no field or method name. So if we pass in this P1, now I'm getting myself in trouble. Oh, is it F name? It is F name. So if a person gets passed in, print line hello, HF name. Anybody have any ideas on this? Let me pause this video until I figure it out. That Some interface abstracted your stuff down and it's only that. Yeah. Property, so that's all that I think we can access through that. Yeah, so maybe this is all we can access this way. We can't do like we did with our other stuff, but we could try this and just see. And, uh, and print the type and see what the type is. And I think there's a way to an assert, right? But then we have to have conditional logic. Main person and secret agent, that's kind of interesting, right? So those are the types. Yeah, you should be able to dereference that. Though. Format dot print line H. And so we could just print H and see what comes out and Nina Simone and Ian Fleming and all that, right? And so then, uh, you know, it seems like you should be able to do but no. <laughs> Did 
Yeah, in other languages, in order to do that, you have to type cast that into a system. You have to assert. But I can't assert one or the other, right? I can't, like, say this, but then the other one, I need some sort of conditional logic. And I don't know how to do that right off the bat. Let me see if I can find it quickly. All right, so between all of us, we just came up with a solution for assertion. <laughs> and uh, we did the H, and we asserted. This is assertion in Go. And there's uh, assertion and conversion. And uh, you could do a conversion. I could show you an example of that in a second. But here's assertion. I'm asserting that H is of some type. And so it's a switch, and so case person or secret agent or default, in which case I get the value back of that type, and then I could do that. But that's pretty high-end stuff. The main takeaway that you should be learning is this deal about interfaces. I will put this up here as assertions. Cool.